Hello, uh, my name is Strict, and did you know that you can save and load Zombies games uh, like this? Uh, so essentially you can save at any point during a game and then you can load back to that point. Uh, and even if you're down or game over, you can go back to the point at which you saved. It's quite simple, it's just two console commands and this can be added to your config uh, as two quick binds. This was discovered in November 2019, about two and a half years ago, by Clippy95. He shared this information with myself, Siomix, and Niraj, and then we did some testing. At the time, we decided uh, that we didn't want to share this with the community because we honestly felt like it was too potentially damaging uh, for people to know how to, to do this since it's a really easy way to cheat and have full gameplay which is quite a scary thought. And uh, the last thing we want to do is promote or in any way help uh, players cheat. However, it's only a matter of time before someone else finds, finds this anyway. So it may as well be shared publicly to everybody. Um, this would be discovered eventually, regardless of if we kept it a secret. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video now is because we've become suspicious of a few individuals. Uh, so we thought it's best to share this with the community, so the community as a whole can look out for this potential way of cheating, uh, rather than just us four knowing about it. There is a chance some other people know about it, and hopefully they haven't used it for malicious intent. So here are a few things to look out for. If you can see a splice or a cut, or if there's missing rounds, or if there's glitches at suspicious times, then that could be an indication that somebody's cheated, but not necessarily that's proof that they've cheated, but that, that is suspicious if there's kind of cuts in the footage. So something else to look out for is when you load from a save point, uh, then the zombies move a little bit. So if you save and load uh, with the zombies that are visible, then you can see that they suddenly jump a few steps forwards. Uh, however, if the player were to look at a wall or look away from the zombies, then this might be quite difficult to tell. If someone was live streaming the game and the game actually is live, uh, then it would be completely obvious you'd be able to tell very quickly if they're doing this. When you game over and the, the game restarts, then you're taken back to the save point. You're not actually taken back to round one or the main menu. So a few more things that we found during testing. You could keep loading over and over again until you get the perfect box look without having to use a patch. Uh, you just hit the box, you load the save point, um, if you don't get the gun, then you hit the box and then rinse and repeat and then you can get a first box um, set up without a patch file or anything. So something else is saving and loading will affect the reset. When you load from a save point, it takes you back to that particular point in time. Uh, however, reset will continue regardless. So if a player has a reset that is shorter than expected, then that could be an indication that somebody has been loading, uh, saving and loading. Um, the more someone would save and load, the shorter their reset is going to be. If a player were to use a reset tracker or an entity tracker, then you'd be able to spot a splice because the number that would be shown would just suddenly jump up this of course is only true for high round games or games that go to reset. In most first rooms games don't go to reset so it'd be difficult to tell um, if first rooms are cheated uh, unless the game is live streamed um, or if the or if the full gameplay has no like cuts or edits or anything. Um, I can't remember how this affected dog rounds we tested it two and a half years ago and I didn't write the results down so I can't actually remember. Um, I don't think it does affect dog rounds, um, but yeah, I, I can't remember to be honest. This also works on co-op, uh, even if both players down, 
and game over. And even when you see the game over screen, then it will just take you back to the save point. Uh, I tested this on Black Ops 2. Uh, I couldn't get it to work at the time. I don't know if it works on Black Ops 2, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone could find a way. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't try too hard to find a way. Uh, I didn't test it on Black Ops 3 at all, and I'm pretty sure it's possible on Modern Warfare 2 and other uh, Call of Duties as well. Yeah, I think it's possible on World at War, but I, I, can't, I really can't remember, it's been so long. So maybe the only positive about saving and loading is the fact that you can do strat testing and deliberate practice. Um, yeah, you can put yourself in situations and then load and then and then learn from that, uh, those situations. So it's quite good for practicing. Uh, so to summarize, um, how to look out for cheaters that are saving and loading the games. Um, for high rounds, uh, you wanna look for a shorter reset. Uh, you wanna see the game over screen and uh, not just the, the game over screen, but the full game over screen where it either takes you back to the menu or takes you back to reset. Uh, you want to look out for suspicious splices and cuts and glitches within the, the gameplay. Um, yeah, also if there's missing missing rounds as well. Um, when, when you do save and load and the zombies are visible, then the zombies are suddenly going to move forward. So yeah, watch out for that. Uh, something else to look out for is if they don't have full gameplay, then it's not a record. You need full gameplay, it's 2022, there's no excuse. And also, live stream your games, because why not? Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Alright, see ya.